Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to download Windows 11 25H2 and set up installation media using Rufus 4.11. So we have Rufus pulled up here and by default when you first start Rufus, if this is your first time running Rufus, you may have to go in here to the show application settings menu and make sure that check for updates is set to something except disabled. I have it set to monthly. You going to close that out. And you should have this down arrow here, which by default it will be select, where you would select your ISO image. We're going to select download here. You'll we'll click on download. And it's going to run a script. So you can see here we have Windows 11. Click on continue. And I should note that actually you have Windows 10 as an option there as well. We have 25H2, and as of this video, it is build 26200.6584. Select continue. And of course, our edition, Windows 11 home slash pro slash education. Continue. And by default, it goes to English International. I'm going to change this to English United States. Select continue. And of course, architecture x64 or ARM64 if that's what you need. And we'll select download. And we'll go ahead and save this. So we'll wait for this to download. Okay, now the download is finished. And you can see we have the ISO already selected. It was actually done automatically once it downloaded. So we'll make sure that we have our USB device selected, and we do. And of course, keep in mind that um, if there's any files that you want to keep off that flash drive, you back them up because this will wipe the contents of the flash drive. <clears throat> so we're going to leave this all default here. Um, standard Windows installation. Partition scheme is GPT. Now I should note that if you have older systems which you want to run Windows 11 on that are non-UAFI, um, I should note that you would have to choose MBR. And then you have the option BIOS or UAFI CSM. The thing is, some newer computers don't get along with this. Um, Generally, the idea is to be able to install either as the MBR or as GPT, but I found that some newer computers don't seem to get along with this. So, what I would do is set up a separate flash drive just for that. Now, of course, you want to keep in mind that Windows 11 25H2, like 24H2, has higher system requirements, which I believe 25H2 and 24H2 had the same hardened requirements. So, I have a video on that. So anyways, um. <clears throat> Everything else we're going to leave default. We're going to select start. And of course, it's going to ask you some questions here. So, by default, it has the option to remove the requirement for 4 gigs of RAM, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. In other words, um, bypass the Microsoft Elite Class System requirements, as I call them. You have the option to remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account. You can create a local account under a specific username if you wish which I will leave that turned off. And of course, set regional options to the same values as users. We'll leave that on. Disable data collection slash skip privacy questions. Of course, leave that on. Disable boot locker or automatic device encryption. And there's a new option in this version of Rufus. It's use Windows CA 2023 signed bootloaders. Requires a compatible target PC. We're gonna leave that turned off. So anyways, I'm going to select OK, and it's going to warn you that the data on the device will be destroyed. And we're going to select OK, and it's going to set up our flash drive. OK, so the installer has been finished up and is ready to use. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.